And IU researchers found a potential solution to the colony collapse hitting honeybee populations all across the country. Tonight, our Rachel Krause shares how this could be a game changer for all the foods that we love and rely on. In a quiet field outside Bloomington, IU researchers check in on their honeybees. So what we're looking for right now is brood, and that is the developing larvae. Monitoring the health of the colony. Oh, look at that forager with the pollen basket. IU PhD candidate Audrey Parrish and Dr. Irene Newton are studying ways that stressors impact honeybees and how providing nutrition could help. It's important work. The USDA reports honeybees are behind one out of every three bites of food we take. They are the organisms that are going to pollinate all of the important fruits and nuts and vegetables that people love. So without bees around, we really wouldn't have those foods available for us. But the population has been facing colony collapse for decades. Imagine you're developing larva and you're getting the food that your nest mates can provide for you, but sadly they don't have very good resources and they're doing their best to feed you, but you can only do so much with the material you've got. And it's important that you grow strong during this period. So what the bacteria that are present in this niche do is transform the food that you're getting from your nest mates into something more nutritious. Newton says they're identifying microbes that can serve as probiotics for bee nutrition and supply them with it. And they've identified one that can help. So this organism that we discovered, Bombella apis, is the microbe that is found in the queen digestive tract. And the queen is the most important member of the colony. So she is the only reproductively capable member. She's in charge of laying all those eggs to bring up the next generation of bees. Now their team is working to identify the best strains of Bombella apis to provide to larvae inside those honeybee colonies offering key nutrition early on to reduce stress and bolster populations. It's even so easy that we could give you Bombella apis and you could put it in sugar water and just set that sugar water outside of a colony and the workers are going to bring that sugar water in and the Bombella is going to make it into the important niches most likely because they're feeding it to all of the larvae as soon as they receive it. Newton says they're excited to develop this as an intervention for beekeepers. Giving them a supplementation that is not only going to improve the health of their colonies but cost them no additional time is pretty groundbreaking and it's something we're really excited about.